may not escape being kidnapped. Boba Galadima on insecurity. A former ally of the president, Muhammad Buhari, Boba Galadima, has said that the lingering insecurity in the country, it would not be surprising if the number one citizen is kidnapped. Galadima was reacting to the insecurity bedeviling the country in an interview with BBC Hausa Service. He said, These bandits are disdainful to Buhari administration. At the beginning of the government, everybody was so scared of them, well, of him, specifically Buhari, and expected him, Buhari, to be brave before he was now exposed to be toothless. Buhari knows nothing, he can do nothing, and that is why you see the government officials, that is why you can see that the government officials are siphoning billions from public property and nobody can stop them. Galadima added that if terrorists can have access to Brick Kujie prison, Buhari himself is not safe. I mean, if you see, the, I don't even trust that Kujie prison itself was well maintained and well protected anyway. I mean, just on the basis of first impressions and looking at the white, uh, sorry, white I mean, looking at um, Aso Rock and looking at Kujie prison, I mean, Kujie prison just seems to, like, it just seems like the budget on it was very little. I mean, there there were barbed wires on the wall. I mean, every Nigerian average family, well, the ones that can afford it, that is literally standard security. You know, everyone usually has a barbed wire. That's like basic of basics, and let alone you know a prison whereby you you are keeping and uh, and you have high high rated criminals. So again, if that's the case, then it's not it's not surprising that the place would be attacked. And to think that you no, know, there are also allegations that you know some workers in the Kujie prison gave information to 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 the bandits for them to be able to break into. But then again, on the basis of first impressions, you know, Aso Rock looks a bit more secure. However, we've also heard news of, you know, even the president's wife saying that she heard gunshots. Or you know, just people around the the the, the uh, around the government uh, or Asorok hearing gunshots. So it's not been, you know, a far fetched thing where Asorok may have been seen to be unstable in terms of how secure it is. To be honest, but it's highly unlikely that I mean there are so many theories of the government you know indirectly supporting or sponsoring these bandits. So if anything. If those allegations are th- true, or the allegations of the fact that Buhari was the one who brought these bandits in, if they are true, then I don't think they would go and allegedly kidnap their boss. I don't think that's very likely. Um, because, I mean, the access to to security that he has, the average Nigerian doesn't. So, what can you say? But again, we are not, we are not with them, so you can't... Mm, can't really say anything in that in that regard but i mean insecurity is pretty much a very big problem and with the division in the country and with the herdsman crisis which also brought insecurity down to the south which was pretty much you could say strategic um you know i i don't i don't really see how buhari is it or could be a potential victim of something he allowed, he literally allowed to get worse. He allowed insecurity to get worse and he did not respond to it or tackle the issues to the best possible way. I mean, you've, you had regions having to make their own security networks and their security outfits for themselves. It got that bad. It was that bad. So we could not depend on the Nigerian police force for just civilian safety when it got to that point. And so... The people had to defend themselves. So to make Buhari look like a victim for a situation that he single-handedly by himself allowed to get worse. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think he's a victim here or a potential victim. It's highly unlikely. So. Most Nigerians will be happy if that should happen to him or his family members. But it's not. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> the comment here states, how can they kidnap their 
patron. Hmm. I pray fervently that those boys catch him and his wife and their daughter. That will be the happiest day. Hmm. It is all because he's not the robo her. That is why they plan to kidnap him. So he would go back to his country. I mean, you know, in this case, this news or this information opens a can of of conspiracy theories, to be honest, because we're talking about insecurity and we're talking about Buhari. I mean, they have just been... I mean, you can't link the two and not have some theories that were thrown here and there. Nobody would kidnap him. He would arrange himself to be kidnapped. <laughs> He needs to feel what those people are feeling by being kidnapped with his ministers. I mean, I don't think the best way to fix a problem is to... I mean, I guess in some way, mirroring someone's issues can be effective in making them understand. But in this case, I don't think the impact... I mean, what would now happen? He's the president at the end of the day. So if he's kidnapped, then there will literally be a, what, a state of emergency and everyone will start panicking. I don't think him being kidnapped is the best option or the most effective approach to dealing with this or trying to get him to react because then now if he's kidnapped then you know what authoritative power do we have to pass anything that may be in our favor in terms of making us more secure again never really know so yes those that are saying you know what let him get kidnapped as well i'm like mm, you don't really wish that for somebody else <laughs> if he's kidnapped that will possibly be that would be a big embarrassment and possibly an end to it all. <laughs> if his kidnap, if successful, is a ploy to scuttle the 2023 general elections, 100%. I, I, I do think so too. Again, this has now led to several theories happening. Again, someone said, how can they kidnap their patron? And now another state, if successful, it is definitely a ploy to scuttle the 2023 general elections, which is not far-fetched. Again, these you may call conspiracy theories with no facts to prove. However, they are not far-fetched. Understanding the context and the history and just the fact of the last seven years of the Buhari regime, nothing, I mean, I believe, of all these comments that we've seen so far, not, they're not far-fetched. We didn't just, you know, sit down, get bored, and try to pluck these ideologies from somewhere else. Uh-uh. Th that's how things have been. So it's not far-fetched. Yes, there may not be facts or evidence to prove anything and say this is why 2 plus 2 is 4. But somehow, we know that we still get 4. <laughs> Poor way, think it, comment, section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.